Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Nitrix. Uh, my friend just asked me uh, how he can add an audio file to a video file. Basically what he's going to be doing is making some video, uh, making some, mixing some music and he wants to combine the two. So what I have here is a video file without audio and an audio file which I want to combine. For this I'm going to use Virtual Dub. It's a free program. Uh, you can just search for virtual dub and it will probably be one of the first in the search results. Go to the website and it will link you to SourceForge where you can download uh, that program. It is a portable program so you're going to download it as a zip file so you need something to unzip the file where you want it. Uh, I would recommend 7-zip for that which again is free. Once you open up the folder you will have a couple of files in here and we're just going to go straight to virtualdub.exe and when it opens up you can see it's quite basic but it's all we really need uh, for what we're going to be doing. Then what we want to do is drag and drop our video file into here um, or you can open up video file and you can also see here the video format that it supports. We're going to be using AVI because that's what I have lying around. Um, then you can do some very very basic video editing. Uh, if you have something in the beginning of the video that you don't want, you can just move the slider across. You can highlight the area by clicking on the black arrow here. You highlight it and then just press the delete bar on your keyboard. And you can do the same thing for um, the back or the middle. If you want to delete something in the middle, you just put the slider where you want it. Now you press the left arrow you move to where you want it to be, uh, you click the right one, it highlights that area, and you can delete out something in the middle as well. So some basic, basic video editing in there as well. There's probably more, but I won't go into too much. Uh, after that, we want to go to video, and by default, it's on full processing mode. If you leave it on full processing mode, the uh, encoding will take ages and the video file will be huge afterwards. Uh, so we want to change this to direct stream copy. After that we want to add in our audio file. So we go on audio, audio from other file. We go to our audio file, open it up and here you can choose your bitrate support. You can either choose constant bitrate or variable bitrate. Uh, up to you what your preference is. Uh, I know there's pros and cons to both of them. I'm just going to leave it at auto detect. Okay, that. And that's basically it. All I have to do now is file uh, save as AVI. And I can change the name to full because it's now video and audio. And I save it. And I can close this program now. And I have a file which contains my video and audio. When I double click on it, it'll open up. Um, I don't have uh, audio drivers installed on my virtual box, but that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope this helps you out. Um, take care.